Hi, I'm Harshwardhan Zala, and I'm 14 years old and the founder and CEO of Aerobotic 7, a tech startup. Today, I'm going to talk about the drone technologies that I built and my journey towards that goal. Ever since I was 10, I was very interested in electronics and technologies and always tinkering with any little electronic things that I found. My first project was a remote controlled home automation system. I was wondering that if turn a simple TV remote that only control the TV, if it could be possible to convert a simple TV remote to control all over the home appliances like you can control lights and fans. I started research on it on the internet. I found some uh, technologies, IR and so many stuff and I built the model. And if I press the one button, so I can turn on the fan, I can turn on off the fan. By, by this, there was no stopping me. I was always doing extraordinary things out of ordinary things and always passionate about solve the problems, solve the existing problems around the world. By the time when I was 12 years old, I just completed 42 projects in 8 robots. Sometime in July 2015, I came across a YouTube video where some of few soldiers in the Afghanistan were died who are looking into landmines and landmines exploded. This video wonder me if it could be possible to make something that that can detect the landmines and without human risk. So I started research on this field. I started research on the landmines, how, what is the landmines, how it will be work, what type of materials in landmines are using and all type of technologies are available in the traditional way. I want to convert the traditional way into smarter way. And I started uh, my research on internet and found some things. The technologies in the traditional way are using the handheld metal detector to uh, the army soldiers will go to test field and detect the landmines but there is a human risk. So I, I started making a robot, a simple and small all-terrain vehicle. I attach a detector on it and started detecting the landmines. It can detect the landmines but the problem is ATV was heavy enough and it could trigger the landmines so it can damage it. So I am wondering what is the thing that wouldn't touch the ground and fly upon the sky. I started my research on the internet and, and I found one word, drones. I started research on drones. What is drone, how it could be made and what type of technologies are using in the drone, how I can manage to do that and all the technologies in the traditional way. The traditional technology is using, using electromagnetic induction, induction. So you can con connect the metal detector of type type of thing but there is problem there are so many plastic mines over there so you cannot detect this because they have only few amount of metal so I started making a technology a revolutionary technology that I come up with and I started uh, my first project a first drone a first prototype that can detect the landmines at the real time and that called Eagle Air 7 this innovation got me invited to the Silicon Valley's RC Fellowship and Maker Fair Bay Area 2016 in the USA. For Maker Fair, I started developing my second pro prototype of Eagle S7 because I need something better than the first one because first only have a few amount of technologies. So I started researching how I develop a better than the first one. So I created my own 3D printed body. You can see over there the yellow one. I started 
I created my 3D printed body and uh, used better technologies. I used 3D mapping, uh, terrain mapping technology and c it could connect the, to the military's ground station. So it is possible to military, possible for military to track the uh, accurate location with the size and layouts and accurate amount of in the real time the military can see, watch what type of materials are there in the ground and it can do in the real time. Right now, this prototype, improved prototype has not the complete solution for this thing. So, and it can't uh, complete all type, all minor problems that I am using. So, right now, I am working on the third prototype which can not only detect the landmines but it can destroy the landmines in the real time with the help of detonator box which weighs only 30 grams after this prototype right now I'm working with this revolutionary technology that are not available in the world right now and I'm using the traditional technology and the smart technology both in this and right now my patent is pending in the five countries including India this, when I realized the potential of my technology, I want to spread it to the world. I decided to make my own startup company and I, I created my own startup called Aerobotic 7 and joined some of my friends. This innovation is the main part of our startup. People often wonder where I learned all the physics, mathematics, networking and programming from. So most of my knowledge I learned from internet. You'd be amazed to know that there are so many resources and information available out there. I learned about IDs, landmines, all type of technologies that I need to drones, drones mechanism, aerodynamics, algorithms, all type of programming languages, networking, all from the internet. I spend an average 8 to 12 hours a day on the computer learning new things. Funding was a problem for me. It took me a while to take funding from the government. I self-fund all my initial projects. I come from a humble home and could only borrow up to certain amount of money from my parents. So I started taking tuitions for engineering students and uh, help them with their final year projects. <laughs> now I have my own startup and recently signed MOU with the government and for the further development of drone technology. At the end, all I want to say is there are so many problems out there in the world. All we need to do and we have the potential to solve them. All we need to do is put all our efforts in it and let not failures to stop us. To quote Edison, I have not failed. I just found 10,000 ways. Thank you. <laughs>